Live, local, late breaking. This is WBAL TV 11 News Today. We all have one goal in mind, to prioritize our students above politics and pettiness. Right now on 11 News Today, a small step forward for Cecil County Public Schools budget, but a $20 million, do a million dollar funding gap left to go. And setting a precedent for future repeat carjacking offenders, the longer prison sentence given to one man and how the assistant state's attorney hopes it will help. Plus, when 11 investigates calls, the city takes action. The emotional response from a woman who says she's been waiting over a decade for something to be done about a problematic alley. Well, good Thursday morning and thanks for waking up with us on 11 News today. Man, it's been a wild <laughs> weather week. We were enjoying some toasty temperatures. Not the case out there this morning. Yeah, that strong cold front came through and that's why it's colder this morning. Mm. The winds were howling. Oh, those winds yeah. knocking everything <laughs> all over the place. Yeah, so it's interesting to see the actual reports from some of our measuring stations. Like on the Bay Bridge reporting 67 miles per hour yesterday. That was a gust reported there. That's as strong as a, even a severe thunderstorm. So it was able to uh, be higher there on the bridges, including the Francis Scott Key Bridge reported a wind gust over 60 miles per hour. Even